um, I remember when I first met him. So this is leading now into uh, question number two. Um, the first time I met Claudio, I was I was booked by these Italian these Italian promoters, also DJs, uh, Luca Nazario and and Marco, and um, I had I had no idea where Venafro was. You know, I'd, like sometimes I flew to Rome to go to Venafro, sometimes I flew to Napoli to go to Venafro, but either way, it was always the same people and always the same vibe. And um, one time I came to this garden party and I just looked at the stage and I said. Excuse me, sorry, am I dreaming? Like, is that Claudio? Is that Claudio Cocoluto? And they said, yeah. Uh, and then I made the connection, you know, because I knew that he he had uh, stabilized himself in Casino. And, uh, and here he was. Here he was playing on this tiny little stage in the backyard of a, an unknown hotel in a city that was really quite local, like a... What a! It wasn't even a, not a, not even a suburb. It was a it was a, a a rural village, somewhere in the middle of Italy. And here he was playing records on stage with Gian Maria, and Gaia was dancing and Paola was dancing. And that was the night where I realized these people are family, and uh, and they took me in with open arms. And every single time I played there, it was uh, it was like a dream, you know, like I. I yeah, it, it could be some big club in Rome, some big club somewhere else, some big club in Sicily, some big club anywhere else. I would always rather play in Venafro because of these people and because of Coco Voluto. And, um, and I thank him for that. And I thank his family for that. And I thank you, Gian Maria and Gaia and Paola, for, for putting this together because really, what a man, really. <laughs> Again, tears in my eyes. Uh, if I were to dedicate an album to Claudio Coco Luto, it would be this. It would be Remember by Gino Socio, because he gave me this. <laughs> this is the first record he gave me. And he taught me about the history of Italian music and not just Italo dance and, <laughs> you know, not, not just Italo disco. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm tearing up here. But um, this record right here, this means everything to me because this was the first vinyl he gave me and he taught me. He taught me about what it was to do what he did. Ah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. We miss you.